Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the Mattel Jurassic Park Amber Collection 6 inch scale John Raymond Arnold action figure. John Raymond Arnold was the lead computer technician in Jurassic Park, played by Samuel L. Jackson almost 30 years ago. I bought this figure because I'm all in for the Jurassic Park Amber Collection human figures. He would be a great civilian or lab technician, and more importantly, in my Xavier collection, he's going to double up as Lucius Fox, which is a Batman supporting character. So let's go ahead and check out the packaging here. As you can see at the top, Amber Collection, got the Jurassic Park Dinosaur logo. John Raymond Arnold, Jurassic Park from Mattel. Here he is in the package. He has two alternate hands, 24 interchangeable hands, a computer, a headset, and then a severed arm. One side. Amber Collection, got the mosquito and the amber here. Other side, Jurassic Park at the top, not much going on. At the bottom, there's a bunch of credits and there is a barcode in case that helps anybody. And then the back side, here's John Raymond Arnold. A little description of him if you want to read that. Go ahead and pause now. So no further ado, let's open him up. All right. Now that we got this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He does come with a large computer, pretty cool accessory, old school style, with a CRT monitor. He's got a severed arm, then he has two alternate hands, totally four interchangeable hands, and a headset. So the accessories are pretty cool, but before we can take a look at the accessories, let's take a look at the actual figure. So this is John Raymond Arnold, or more commonly referred to as Dr. Arnold, played by Samuel L. Jackson in the first Jurassic Park film. I'm very happy to add him to the list. I have all the human Jurassic Park figures so far. But more importantly, this guy is going to double up as Lucius Fox in my Batman world. My action figure collection is predominantly Batman related, and Lucius Fox is a supporting Batman character. He was heavily featured in the Dark Knight trilogy. In the comics, he mainly doesn't know who Bruce Wayne is, and he just runs Wayne Enterprises. Very happy to have this figure for both purposes. So let's take a look at him. First of all, his head here. I think the Samuel L. Jackson likeness is pretty good, especially for a Mattel figure. Glasses are very thick and nerdy. I don't remember him being like that in the film. I kind of remember him being kind of laid back and cool. Hair looks good. Nice and textured. A little bit of bald spot back there. Going further down, he's got a lab coat here. It looks nice. Jurassic Park logo here. I'm probably going to end up rubbing that off of him. Some pens in the pocket. He's got this striped shirt underneath, looks good, nice tie. His slacks look excellent, kind of gray, a little bit brown. Double jointed knees, double jointed elbows. Very pleased with this guy so far. I might get a second one and I can paint his lab coat and arms like navy blue. That way it can be Lucius Fox in the office. This one is going to be Lucius Fox working at Applied Sciences, making the bat gadgets. And then here's the figure, broken down as far as he can go, with all of his removable parts detached. Now let's look at his accessories, and let's start off with his hands. Here he is with his first pair of hands. His right hand is completely open, his left hand is mostly open, could possibly grip something rather large. And then, with his other pair of hands, these are both some semi-open gripping hands with a pretty small grip. So now we've got a severed arm. As you can see, it's got that same pinstripe shirt on, it's got blood on it, it has absolutely no articulation, and there's his hand there. So not only do you get this loose severed arm, but the figure here, his arm can actually come apart the bicep, can sort of pull it off here, and then he's got a bloody stump in there. Very cool. Here's Dr. Arnold laying on the floor with a severed arm and a puddle of blood. And this is not the first severed hand I've gotten in recent history. Here it is next to a couple of Georgie severed hand from NECA's Pennywise It Collection. And a severed arm like this is perfect for a Batman villain like Killer Croc to be eating. Now we've got this headset. This thing is completely in black. Doesn't really show all the detail off. Could use a little bit of extra coloring there. Nothing really spectacular about this thing, but it is cool to have a headset for the figures. Here he is without the headset, and here with the headset on. But what does he need a headset for? He needs it for easy communication while using the computer. He comes with this large computer set, old school style, you can see a big CRT monitor, got the tower on the side, got a nice keyboard here, on it we got a sticker, it's got the map of Jurassic Park, 
Very nice accessory. I can put this to a lot of use. Here's Dr. Arnold sitting at a desk using the computer. This is a great setup for him. This came with an old Spider-Man movie, J. Jonah Jameson figure. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his head, he's sitting at about 6.4 inches tall, which is going to translate to a hair over 16 centimeters. Now let's check out his articulation. Start with his head here, of course, it can rotate from side to side. It's almost all it can do. As far as it goes up and down, almost non-existent, just the littlest bit. Cannot tilt from side to side either. Shoulders on a ball joint, it goes out about 90 degrees. Up, down, around, all that good stuff. He's got a bicep cut, double jointed elbows, they go all the way in. His wrist here, it can rotate and it's going to be hinged as well. He's got a ball joint in his torso. It can kind of rotate from side to side, also go in and out. He's got traditional waist swivel below that. Legs go out about this far, completely do the splits. Pretty much a ball joint. You go forward that far, completely sits down. Back, not at all. He's got a thigh cut. Double jointed knees go back all the way. Then his ankle here goes up and down, and it can sort of rotate but not too much. Here's Lucius Fox in his office at Wayne Enterprises. This is where he conducts the business aspect of things. He's going over the annual report. Lucius Fox here runs Wayne Enterprises because simply Bruce Wayne is too busy being Batman. And then Mr. Fox heads up to Bruce Wayne's office on the top floor to give him some news. And then just below his office Here's Lucius Fox working in Applied Sciences, working on all of Batman's armor and different various gadgets. And then below that, we've got the Bat Armory, a little bit in disarray right now. Lucius Fox at the giant Bat computer, and a ton of Bat gadgets at the ready. And then below that, we've got the Bat Bunker under Wayne Enterprises. A bunch of the Batman sidekicks in the back, training. And it's damn sure not fully set up yet. But we've got the Bat Bunker. Then the Bat Armory. Applied Sciences. Lucius's office. A couple of shelves I need to set up for some sort of office buildings. This is going to be Bruce Wayne's secretary shelf. And then Bruce Wayne's office at the top. And Lucius Fox is also going to make his occasional appearances at the Wayne Manor. Or helping to work on gadgets in the Bat Cave. We've got the Bat Computer, the Bat Suit, his chemistry lab, some of the gadgets being worked on, then Batman at the computer, some trophies, and a Robin suit. Giant Bat Cave and Wayne Manor set up for Lucius Fox to help assist Batman. Now let's check them out, next to some other action figures, starting off with some other Mattel Jurassic Park figures. Here's Dr. Arnold, next to Ian Malcolm and Dennis Nedry. These are all the figures from the first Jurassic Park film they've made so far. They've announced the next one's going to be Ellie Sadler and John Hammond. And if we can get Alan Grant and the kids, I believe my collection will be fairly complete. Ian Malcolm here was re-released in the same wave as Dr. Arnold. It's the exact same figure re-release with slightly different accessories, so I decided to pass. And then Dennis Nedry here, he worked under Dr. Arnold in the computer lab. Then, next to Owen Grady from Jurassic World. Here's my entire Jurassic Park and World collection of human figures. Can't wait to keep expanding on the line. Here's my entire collection of Samuel L. Jackson figures. They're from such movies as The Spirit, Pulp Fiction, Shaft, Jurassic Park, Adventures, and Stargirl. And here's a closer look at all their faces. Drop me a line in the comments below. Which one has the best Samuel L. Jackson likeness? Now let's check them out. Next to some other figures I've used for Lucius Fox over the years. This is an old custom I made a long time ago. This is a Mattel DC Universe Classics Clark Kent simply repainted. This is my Lucius Fox for many years. And here he is, next to another figure I used for Lucius Fox. 
This is kind of how he looked in the video game Arkham Knight. This is a custom-made Teddy Long Mattel wrestling figure. Which figure do you guys like the best is Lucius Fox? Drop me a line in the comments below. And now let's check him out next to some other Batman supporting characters or civilian type characters in the Batman world. Here he is next to my Damian Wayne, Bruce Wayne, and Alfred in civilian attire. Then, next to some Batman police characters. From left to right, we've got a Mattel Movie Master John Blake figure. Then a DC Direct Arkham Knight Commissioner Gordon. Then in the middle, this Jurassic Park Dr. Arnold, or rather Lucius Fox. Then we have a Diamond Select Toys, Harvey Bullock, and a figure substitute for Montoya. And here, with another couple custom Batman supporting characters and civilians that help aid his cause. On the left, we've got a makeshift Leslie Tompkins, and on the right, we've got Harold Alnut. He's a mute hunchback that lives in the Batcave and works on his vehicles. And here he is, next to a whole bunch of other Batman allies or heroes. They're out of their costume and in civilian attire. From left to right, first we have Bruce Wayne, who's normally Batman, then Dick Grayson, who's Nightwing, and then Jason Todd, the Red Hood, Tim Drake, Red Robin, Damian Wayne, Robin, here's Lucius Fox, then his son, Luke Fox, or the Batwing. Here's Jean-Paul Valley or Azrael. Then Kathy Kane, Batwoman. Stephanie Brown, the Spoiler. Duke Thomas, the Signal. Carrie Kelly, a potential future Robin. And then Terry McGinnis from Batman Beyond. Now let's check him out. Next to some action figures from different various companies. To see how he fits in, both scale and style-wise, in case you want to know what giants you can mix him with. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the larger action figure lines I collect and work my way smaller. I'm going to sprinkle in some Batman figures here so you can know which lines and which Batman figures he might work well with. Here he is next to some McFarlane toys. He's a little bit too small to fit in with the McFarlane DC Multiverse figures, but I'm not very picky. I can fudge them in there together. And here he is next to some DST or Diamond Select toys. Then. Next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And here with some NECA figures. Then next to some Mattel wrestling figures. And here he is next to some Mezco 112th cloth soft goods action figures. Then next to some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And I must say he scales up about perfect with these guys. And here next to some Mapex figures. Then, next to some Hasbro, Marvel Legends. And here he is, next to some SH Figure Arts action figures. And finally, next to some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. So overall, he is a very nice action figure. He looks pretty good for Dr. Arnold from Jurassic Park, and he's going to be great in your Jurassic Park collection. But he's even better in my Batman collection as Lucius Fox. I cannot tell you how pleased I am, and this is working out better than I ever dreamed it would. This guy's accessories are pretty cool. The severed arm, the computer, the headset. It's all just great stuff. This guy's articulation is very nice for a suited guy. I mean, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. Seems unnecessary, but I'm very happy they included that stuff. His sculpt and paint job are pretty good. I don't really see any flaws on this guy. His likeness of Samuel Jackson is not bad. Mattel typically has pretty soft likenesses, and this one is decent. If I were to rate this figure, I'm going to give him a very strong, solid 8 out of 10. I am enjoying the hell of this guy, and he's a great addition to my Batman collection. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.